Coming up to 9.09 as we wind things down on our Friday. Busy day, though. That parade of wonders begins in about an hour and 20 minutes. All of the fun folks dressing up uh, in town for the Comic uh, Expo and Entertainment Show. Uh, being involved with the panels uh, this year, again, is uh, Tanner Zipchen, who joins us now. You know him from uh, sitting and waiting for the movies to begin. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. You got your start in radio, were you? Was it a radio thing that kind of led, led to this? Yes, I was a radio host for a few years out in the Saskatchewan, and then they got me here. Uh, I actually came here for the first time to get some interviews for my radio show and then I got invited back as a panel host to do interviews on stage and it really went from there and my everything next thing you know I'm doing this for a living on a on a big screen so. just a movie goer a movie geek you love the, the flicks that kind of 100% yeah. so it was a nice it, my yeah my whole career has kind of been based around this world in a way so how, how does it work for you? I mean, do you, do you get invited to the premieres then? Is that where you're doing your interviews? Or yeah, it really you... depends. Like, press junkets are all over the world, uh, depending on where, I guess, they want to have it. If they want to mm-hmm. do something kind of by the books, they keep it in, like, L.A. or New York. Sometimes they get fancy and they have us out in, in crazier locations. Like, for Jurassic World last year, they actually brought us to Kualoa Ranch, where they, which is the original location of Jurassic Park in Hawaii. Awesome. So we were out there. And that's like, tough. That's surreal. You got Jeff Goldblum sitting there. You're oh, literally cool. in Jurassic Park, Chris Pratt, and then they drove us around in the Jeep. So, like, sometimes they can, uh, yeah, they, it's a real, pretty exciting. Uh, you interview a bunch, a bunch of different people. Let's just have some fun here. Who, who is as nice as you would think they would be? A big star comes to mind that you go, yeah, they are the real deal. Uh, throw a name or two out. I find, for me, I don't mean it's just because it's, it's a Canadian thing. Any of the Canadians are always so great to talk to. I get, they get, they pick up on the sarcasm and the humor, and they're <laughs> always so like like the, both Ryan's, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan yep. Gosling. Any, any, you can tell when you're in the presence of a of a Canadian. Like we get each other. Twinkle in the eye. Yeah. yeah. Jay Baruchel's like exactly what you think he is. He's just like this down to earth hockey fan. Uh, and then like you know they say not to meet your heroes, but in in my situation, I think most of my heroes have really lived up to. Like Jeff Goldblum was was, was amazing. Say, what was he like? Oh, yeah. he's exactly what you think he is. Jamie Lee Curtis is who I think everyone should aspire to be when they grow up. She is like an incredible person. Yeah. Uh, a little out there, and she like she'll if you have fun with her, she'll throw it back, which is which is awesome. You be and on then, your toes. Oh, yeah. definitely. But yeah, for the most part, everyone's been been pretty uh, pretty great. I mean, even though I'm talking to them in these these press situations, so they're you know, on. So who knows, but... So who's prickly? Who have you asked a question? I think this will be a good way to get in, and then you get that look. Maybe it's the Clint Eastwood look. <laughs> you shouldn't have asked that, you know, kind of a I've thing. Had anybody... It depends. It depends. I've been in a couple of situations with people. I, I was on set uh, a couple of years ago for the Hitman's Bodyguard, and, and I mean, we're, they're shooting the movie, and I, I'm there, and it's kind of... I'm, I'm there to, you know, get an interview and do my job, but in a way, like, they're doing their job, and then you're that thing that's keeping them from rapping that day or whatever. And <laughs> so I actually... We had to end up cornering Sam Jackson on a on a dock to get him to do this interview, and he was... He started out like he was like, this is not what I want to do right now, and he threw everything back in my face, and uh, at the end of it, he was like, oh, where, where are you from in Canada? Oh, I love... <laughs> now he's coming so to visit he you. Really, like, he, t- he turned him around, but sometimes it's like, yeah, it's a persona. You have to, like... Re- Look through it. I know Christian Bale. My very one of my very first interviews was Christian Bale, and someone had sent me the the Christian Bale freakout video. Oh yeah, oh. the set of Terminator. Like, have fun with that interview. <laughs> and then I get in the room, like, okay, well, someone made a comment, like, don't talk about Batman. And I'm like, okay, I was, maybe Batman will like send him off or something. So I get in the room, and I'm like, well, it was for the big the big short. And I was like, well, you're no stranger to playing a character with you know lar- large amounts of money. And he's like. Are you are you talking about Batman? <laughs> and you're thinking, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And then I realized halfway through it that he's totally messing with me, and he actually is like a super nice, fun guy. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. And obviously, that video was completely out of context because we obviously don't know what happened before that mm-hmm. video was shot. But yeah, for the most part, I've been I've been quite quite pleased with everybody. Yeah. So what are you up to for the uh, Comic and Entertainment Expo then? You get to be the moderator and you get to meet all the celebs that are there too. Yeah, so it's, it's really cool because I, I see uh, you know a lot of friends of mine now. Like I know Laura Vandervoort uh, is now coming to the show. So she's uh, coming in today and here all weekend. Uh, Zachary Levi and the cast of Shazam. I was on set of that movie in Toronto. So I've kind of been with them along the way. We did the Toronto premiere after that. And now they're all in town. Jack Dylan, uh, Grazer, Asher Angel, and Zachary Levi, the whole cast of the movie and yeah so it's essentially just me on stage hosting panels we do like a 40 45 minute panel we start off with a quick little interview we throw out audience questions and yeah have have fun and try to create a really cool experience for everybody it's amazing how these when william shatner did his sort of lampoon of those who gathered uh, back on snl mm-hmm. way back when you know have you ever kissed a girl you're in your pace, parents basement whatever it was funny and now it's the mainstream everybody goes to i mean the parade if you have you, you probably seen yeah. it, of wonders is going to have ten thousand people dressed up i mean it's so much fun to get involved with now 
Oh, 100%. It's, and it's really more than it's, it's growing and growing and growing and it's becoming more entertainment than it is just a lot of people are surprised by some of the guests that come like, well, that doesn't really fit that mold, but it's really like it's just entertainment in, in general now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's everybody. Yeah. And, and especially with these movies being so big, I mean, we're going into this Avengers Endgame weekend, which is... Have you seen it, by the way? I have. And yeah, it's been hard to keep secrets. Let me yeah. tell you that. I saw it earlier this week. But yeah, it's, it's these are the movies that are crushing the box office. Yeah. These these are the TV yeah. shows that are, are doing the best. And, and it's we're living in this world now where this culture is so supported. So these shows are bigger and better than they've they've ever been. And, and it's, it's great because then we can get bigger guests at these shows. We can get bigger crowds. We can have more fun. There's more cosplay. There's more vendors. So yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it. Anybody on your list that you'd love to interview that uh, you haven't got to yet? There are a few on the old bucket list. Uh, we're <laughs> actually talking about it on the way over here. Uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson is still on the oh, list. He's around I, these I, parts. I know. I, feel like I, I saw the post that he was Just go shooting out to Jumanji. Country, you'll find him. So if I disappear yeah. tomorrow at the con, I may, I may be up in the mountains <laughs> trying to find Dwayne Johnson. But I had an opportunity a, a couple times, and it just never worked out with scheduling. But he's always escaping. You know, the legends like Tom Hanks and yeah. Steven Spielberg, they're, they're still out there too. So... If well, you see you, them, let me know. Okay. I'm thinking you'll be reeling them in pretty soon. Oh, Great uh, chatting and meeting you. Uh, have fun at the expo. Thank you so much. Uh, Tanner uh, Zipchin uh, joining, joining us today. And look for him doing the panels uh, this weekend. Helicopter.